Secretary of State. And that's why I want to bring in the Democrat who is running here to hold that position, because he's taking on Mark Fincham, who is somebody who has called for the decertification of the 2020 election. Adrian Fon says, the Democrat, you were the former Maricopa County recorder here. And, you know, perhaps you have always found election operations sexy, but for a lot of people, you're kind of the new, new kid, new cool kids on the block here. For you and your campaign, though, to what extent are you articulating the threats to democracy at the forefront of your campaign? Well, the threats to democracy could not be any worse right now. We're talking about folks who do not want democracy to run in a normal way. They don't want to, elections to operate in a predictable, regular fashion like a heartbeat. That's bad for business. It's bad for education. It's bad for law. Because elections are that golden thread that run through the fabric of society. You pull that thread out. All of society is going to end up disintegrating. I think we take it for granted, or at least we have, how important the operation and administration of elections are. I'm running for Secretary of State so that we can just call balls and strikes and make sure that we don't have wild-eyed extremists running our elections and potentially causing chaos. We are seeing millions of dollars being spent. Your race, other races as well, that are these down-ballot races that maybe haven't gotten the attention as past. What are you hearing from folks on the ground? Folks just want things to operate normally. They just want to get back to where we run our elections, they're good to go, winners win, losers lose, and then we try again the next time if we don't win. This is how it's supposed to work in America. But this new sort of extremism that we're seeing in a lot of the candidates that you talked about, including the one that I'm running against, they really are backed up by a national network of election deniers who are pumping a lot of money into these races. So obviously we could use as much help as possible, but we don't just need help for the campaign. We need help to have stability in our government so that everybody else around can do the business of America, which is business. Adrian, thanks for your time. Thanks, Mark. And Jose, we're talking about here in Arizona,